Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, again with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about slide board transfers into the shower and back out again. If you've been sticking around with me, my last couple posts have been about slide board transfers on and off the toilet and in and out of bed. So this adds on to that series. So if you're interested in those, check them out in my playlist about slide boards. So this is a very tricky transfer, much like the toilet transfer, partly because oftentimes our bathroom space is limited and ultimately because when you're doing a shower, there's a lot going on. There's not more than just the transfer. There's dressing considerations. There's obviously space considerations. So this one is going to require the assistance initially of a trained healthcare professional who can really work with you and trial and error the different things that are going to work for your needs and your space. So what I'm going to demonstrate here is kind of how to do it in a situation that I have, which is with a tub shower combination unit and I'm gonna be using a standard tub transfer bench to transfer on and off of. This is actually a pretty common setup, especially for folks who are going to be recovering from a temporary condition, whether that's uh, lower body fractures causing non-weight bearing, perhaps recovery from a surgical procedure that's going to limit your ability to safely bear weight through your lower body. And it also is useful for folks who maybe have some significant balance issues that make stepping in and out of the shower difficult and require the assistance of a caregiver to complete the transfer. I'm gonna be demonstrating it independently on myself, but I'll also go over some details about how you would position as a caregiver to assist with this type of transfer. So let's get started with going over the equipment I have here in my situation. I have a standard wheelchair. This is the type of wheelchair you'd probably see if you were going home requiring one temporarily. This is often what gets loaned out. Uh, so this is a pretty simple style of wheelchair. It has removable armrests, removable leg rests, that's key. I have a standard tub transfer bench, which works really well for this setup, but it's also something you should consider if you are going to be in a longer term recovery or requiring a lot of help from a caregiver, a sliding tub transfer bench may be a safer and better um, option for you. I also have a standard wood slide board. This is a shorter variety. They have come in various lengths, also various materials. Often in the shower setup, I recommend instead of the standard wood, they do come in a plastic variety, which is nice, easily wipeable, and I find that they're a little lower friction, so they'll help be a more uh, an easier slide on a bare bottom or near bare bottom when you're completing your slide board transfer following your shower. So the other piece of equipment I have, my trusty Dyson. I use this stuff on everything. I used it in my last video with the toilet transfer. I'm gonna use it again here with this shower transfer to keep my slide board in position while I transfer in. So next let's talk about what you should be wearing. So preparing your body for the transfer itself and for your shower. This is a very important consideration before you even begin the process. You're not going to be like me. You're not gonna be transferring into a shower completely dressed. Doesn't really make any sense. So typically my patients, I would have them uh, disrobe and put on either a light terry cloth robe or some sort of uh, light gown that could be removed easily once you're into the shower, or I'll simply wrap them in a towel. Some folks would prefer just to wear a pair of shorts or their underwear, but the key here is whatever you put on needs to help you slide across the seat. So it's very important that it covers below the hip level. So uh, a pair of ba um, basketball shorts or that type of athletic short will work well because they are loose and they come off fairly easily and they slide well. The other option is a wrap towel. I like these a lot. They typically come with Velcro or something on them that will hold them in position. They're better for modesty reasons and because it's already a towel, it works great before you get in and afterwards to help you dry off. So now let's set up our equipment for the actual transfer. So the first things first, let's get our wheelchair set up. Again, I'm going to approach at as close to a 45 degree angle as possible. I'm a little closer to 90 degree in this bathroom because I am really tight up against this uh, countertop behind me, which is a challenge. So this is very real life. This bathroom was never meant to accommodate a wheelchair and that's the situation I face a lot out in the community is having to work in a space that really doesn't work great for this type of transfer, but we can do it. So I've removed the leg rest on one side. I'm going to flip the other one out of the way on this side. If you were a caregiver working with somebody, you'd want to get the, the leg rest completely out of the way, which can be done by simply swiveling them out. The wheelchair brakes need to be completely locked, both of them, and the armrest towards the direction you're transferring, transferring needs to be lifted and up out of the way. Okay, so now I have that clear path between the transfer surface, which is gonna be the slide, or the uh, tub transfer bench, and my wheelchair. So what I'm gonna do, I've got the handle here on this. 
I'm going to apply my die sum to the back side of this tub transfer bench here, or the slide board here. Okay, it's so sticky it's gonna stick right to it. And I'm going to insert, theoretically it's gonna stick, I'm going to insert the slide board under my hips. Okay. I've got it set up to be pretty level. That's gonna be very helpful when you're doing this, is as level as this can be, the better and easier this transfer is gonna go. Okay, so now it's positioned under my hips and it's positioned squarely on this tub transfer bench here. That's also very important. I'm going to begin the scoot. So we're gonna scoot, scoot, scoot. And you can see, I'm not putting any weight through my legs. This is all being done with my arms and sliding across the board. Now at this point, I could lift my legs, scoot a little bit farther, lift the other leg into the shower. From here, I can complete my shower task. I might have to remove some article of clothing or a towel, but I'm in. In this shower, I have pre-installed handheld shower head because as you can see, I'm facing the wrong direction. This is an absolute lifesaver if you're going to attempt to do this by yourself or as a caregiver if you're going to attempt to shower somebody else. So I highly recommend in this setup that you would have that in place. Okay, so if I wanted to get back out, the key here is making sure that you're as dry as possible. The transfer board is dry. It should be out of the way. And then what you want to make sure to do is either rewrap your body in a towel and try to position under your hips or another option is to take a towel, this is a little large, actually a hand towel would work very well for this, is simply applying the hand towel to the slide board. So I've got the slide board positioned where I need it, and I'm going to apply a, a towel to this that I'm going, to I'm going to put myself up onto it, and that way if I'm bare bottom, I can put myself onto a towel, the towel will slide really well across the slide board, okay? I'm actually gonna flip this because I don't like to slide with my backside on this, this gap. So we're gonna flip it, bridge our space there, okay? Now, if you're gonna be moving your legs in and out, you're gonna wanna scoot yourself over, and I am going to start to position myself onto the slide board. I might get one leg out here, if I can tolerate this position. Slowly work my way onto the slide board, making sure I'm square and using my towel to help assist with that slide is gonna make your life a lot easier, okay? Low friction, easy slide board transfer. And we're gonna slide the rest of the way. I still have a towel under me, but that's okay, because likely I'm a little damp anyway. And then I can pull my slide board out, and my transfer is complete. Now obviously it's going to look easier with me because I'm fully capable of doing this with my arms and legs. If you're doing this with somebody who's got balance issues or strength issues of the upper body, this is going to require the assistance of a caregiver. I want to quick show you as the caregiver how I would position myself if I was working with a patient. So again, the patient would be seated like this getting ready. In this situation, the caregiver needs to be in front of the patient, likely straddling between the tub and the outside, low to the ground here, you're gonna squat low for good ergonomics so you protect your back, and then you're going to assist, 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 and then you're gonna to have to get yourself out of the way. But you always wanna be in front of that patient, having them kind of lean a little bit towards into you, and then you're gonna bump them across using this bridge to support them. Okay, so let's come around here again. That is a challenging transfer. I would highly suggest, again, that you ask for help with this one. If you're a new care provider and maybe want to work with another care provider to do this, it's a great idea as well. A little extra support can go a long ways when you're learning these transfers. So hopefully you got some value out of this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Consider giving me a thumbs up. And as always, if you need more information on how to stay safe, independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.